whether by corporate edict, insurgent engineers secret fiddling, or pure accident, the 2018 BMW X3 has some of the driving satisfaction and excellent execution that once characterized every BMW. The new M5 Sports sedan also recaptures a spark of that old magic, lending credence to the first possibility. We'd like to think that engineer slid classic BMW qualities into one of the brand's best sellers, a crossover, no less, so that corporate might mistake its sure thing sells with demand for those classic BMW traits. As opposed to the mushy, tech-laden, and not particularly sporty direction most of the brand's models have taken in the past few years, of course, it could be that the new X3's superb body control, well-managed ride, and tone steering that is missing from a large swath of its showroom mates is just a happy accident. However it came about, the result is a refreshing whiff of dynamic nostalgia encased in a modern wrapper. The X3 M40i version tested here is choose the entry-level 2018 X3 X-Drive 30i's 248-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4 in favor of a 355-horsepower turbo 3.0-liter inline-6 from the same new engine family. Don't bother working out why the 3.0-liter 6 wears 40i badging and the 2.0-liter X3 goes by 30i, a moniker once used for 6 cylinders. Germany has all but given up numerology with any foundation in reality. It's the M in the 40i's name that counts, anyway. At BMW, placing the M before an engine notation, rather than before a model line digit, as an M3 or after an SUV's name, as in X5M, signals intervention from its SIM performance sub-brand. These models exist between normal BMWs and full-blown M cars, just as with Mercedes AMG's 43 and 53 badged models, including the GLC 43 with which this X3 directly competes. M performance status in this case means BMW fits as standard the firmer M Sport suspension, M Sport brakes with blue painted calipers, and variable ratio steering setup, most of which are optional on the four-cylinder X3. The $700 million adaptive suspension fitted to our test car brings with it electronically adaptive dampers with firmness levels tied to the M40i's Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus driving modes. It's a toss-up whether the M40i's suspension setup or the turbocharged inline 6 steals the show. The former provides commendably controlled ride quality even over poorly maintained roads and even with our X3's optional 20-inch wheels, while keeping body roll, dive, and squat neatly in check. The suspension action is just about perfect in comfort mode, the sportier settings add harshness without drastically improving the car's handling. Oh, but that engine! With 355 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of torque, the M40i packs 55 more ponies and 69 pounds to foot more torque than last year's six-cylinder X3 X-Drive 35i. Our test car's 4.4 second rip to 60 miles per hour puts it just out in front of the slightly more powerful GLC 43 SUV as well as Audi's SQ5. The new six-cylinder engine is as smooth and delivers its power as linearly as did the old X3's inline 6, although sadly its true sound is masked by electronically amplified noises played through the M40i's speakers. As good as those sounds are, who needs bakery when real-life Bavarian cylinders can sing your ears off? Throughout BMW's identity crisis these past few years, the tuning of its dork converter automatic transmissions has never been an issue. The 8-speed automatic used here is no different, with flawless ratio selection and pleasingly sharp engagement. Again, one needn't venture into Sport or Sport Plus for satisfaction. We found that clicking the electronic gear lever from D2S added just enough sass to the powertrain without introducing untoward jerkiness. Compared with the spate of recent BMW performance models that suffer from too many adjustable settings for their chassis, steering, and drive leans, no combination of which really hits the mark, the M40i's happiness and comfort mode with the transmission in its S or D settings recalls the days when BMWs had a single, good state of tune. There is absolutely no need for even the finicky driver to explore the X3's embarrassment of adjustability riches. The steering is quick, accurate, 
and well weighted in its default mode, Sport and Sport Plus modes add some heft but not more feel, which we'll admit we'd like a little more of. The thin, easy to grip steering wheel rim is also worthy of praise, especially given BMW's obsession of late with chunky, fat rimmed wheels seemingly best suited for Andre the Giant's hands. The M40i's driving satisfaction is so holistic it's easy to forget that the package has plenty of day-to-day -day friendliness. In redesigning the X3 for 2018, BMW stretched the wheelbase by 2.2 inches, helping subjectively improve back seat space, even though it doesn't measurably increase. Headroom is good, even with the M40i's standard panoramic sunroof, thanks to the X3's boxy, familiar shape. Corago capacity is noteworthy, you can stuff 29 cubic feet of goods in the back, and laying the 40-20-40 split folding seats flat gives you a total of 63 cubes. Fit, finish, and material specifications throughout are high quality and attractive, and BMW's latest iDrive system both looks good and functions well, goofy gesture control capability aside. It's nearly sinful that BMW charges $300 for Apple CarPlay integration when the feature is standard on numerous non-luxury vehicles, let alone BMW's plan to charge an annual subscription fee come 2019. The M40i does include a stitched, faux leather wrap for the dashboard, power front sport seats, three-zone automatic climate control, adaptive, full LED headlights, and an M40i-specific body kit. Our loaded test car added Apple CarPlay, a $500 wireless phone charger, a $900 driving assistance package, blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning, a $2,950 premium package, navigation, a head-up display, and a heated steering wheel, plus $350 for heated front and rear seats, and a $2,550 executive package, gesture-based infotainment controls a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, a self-parking system, and a 360-degree parking camera. Toss in the aforementioned adaptive suspension and bigger wheels, plus $550 Phytonic blue paint, and the total came to $65,245. That counts as reasonable in this class these days. You can take a Porsche Mac into $100,000 and beyond, after all. Blending everyday usefulness, relatively stealthy looks, and some strands of BMW DNA with no effect on comfort, the M40i is compelling for newcomers to the brand and fanboys alike. We hope that BMW quickly spreads the same thinking to more of its lineup.